subs. Hello, you are on the channel of the company Autostrong M. Right now we are on the third floor of our huge six-tier warehouse here. Here we see a sea of attachments. Starters, generators, pumps, drills, all this can be yours. Call Autostrong M, fast delivery and again, excellent service. And now meet the long-awaited top 10 rating of the most unreliable diesels. Diesel engines should be reliable. Reliable and long-lasting, they are purchased for high mileage intense exploitation and to save on fuel after all a diesel engine consumes fuel less than gasoline but the fight for greater efficiency environmental friendliness and cost savings in production led leading to diesel engines becoming too complex and unreliable in this ranking we've compiled the top three engines 10 unreliable diesel engines let's say right away the first half of our rating includes diesel engines that can due to ignorance of their peculiarities and in the second half fell engines in which engineers made a regrettable oversight so let's go in 10th place we've put the mazda 2.0 mzf 2 liter diesel rcd this diesel is quite good arrived in our countries with cars from the european market the common rail systems equipment supplier is then so actually this engine is a highly modernized version of mazda's diesels from the 80s meanwhile this diesel or rather its first versions turned out to be quite complex they had as many as seven vacuum tubes which controlled egr valve servos turbocharger backfires meaning the engine was literally covered in equipment also this engine can easily dilute oil with diesel due to frequent and unsuccessful regenerations of the particulate filter as well as due to leakage fuel from the pipes the return is also very easy skip the burning of the refractory washers located under the injectors because the injectors are under the cover with the valve cover, gases from the combustion chamber enter the space by under the valve cover, thus contaminating the oil. The denso fuel system is reliable, but repairing any component will definitely cost a pretty penny. Not all service technicians are familiar with this engine, making this to miss, it's a, it's a, it's a miss it, making its maintenance more complicated. Overall, the Mazda engine is not bad, but it ended up being overly complicated. Therefore, 10th place. In ninth place, we have a modern BMW diesel whose reputation was tarnished due to some unclear savings on clouds in very critical components. In the year 2007, the BMW company introduced new diesel engines N47-4 and inline 6 N57. These are high-tech engines based on an aluminum block of cylinders and they left early for services due to the banging clicking chirping around cylinder number four this happened later on mileage of 50,000 kilometers it turns out these were the timing chains rattling timing gears and oil pump on the flywheel side BMW replaced chains under warranty, improved chains, improved tensioners. Unlucky ones because one of the timing chains could bend. Jump over. This led to very serious consequences. A similar problem existed. Oil pump chains. The oil pump would stop pumping oil leading to oil starvation. By the way, to replace three chains. No need to suspend the engine, just remove the automatic transmission and remove the timing cover, then change the chain. Also, the N47 engine may disappoint with a crack in the block between the second and third cylinders. The CSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
for all brands within it. Let's note right away that so these engines have differences which determines the nature of future problems. Mm. These engines can be with an 8 valve or 16 valve cylinder head with balance shafts. All versions for longitudinal installation and some versions for crosswise installation are equipped with balance shafts, balance shafts driven by the crankshaft with a gear or a chain from the small crankshaft. Balance shaft. The oil pump is being discussed. A hexagonal shaft is used for this. This shaft, popularly known as a pencil, has reliably served its warranty period. 1000 kilometers, then the oil pump wore out, stopped spinning and the lubrication pressure decreased. If the driver did not shut off the engine in time, the engine would cease. VIG engineers only. In 2009, reinforced, extended from 77 millimeters to 100 millimeters, by the way, like this. Pencil and is still used in more modern 2.0 TDI engines with common rail. 2.0 TDI engines also have issues with the cylinder head. The thing is with eight valves, in valve versions, pump nozzles break the mounting holes while in 16 valve cylinder heads, cracks might appear. The thing is there are a lot of cracks. A flawed cylinder heads were produced before the year 2008. The injector pumps in these engines are reliable and last a long time almost irreparable e especially piezoelectric ones balance shafts may disappoint with wear of the bearing journals and destruction of the drive gears diesel fuel can contain oil which may failure due to wear seals of the tandem pump in a nutshell 2.0 tdi engines and their predecessors with 1.9 tdi pump nozzle units cdi have quite a few weaknesses position eighth place Place up. We placed it in seventh place in our ranking. An all purely German engineered 2.2 DTI engine designed for Opel cars and SAP. This engine was introduced in 1990. Had direct injection and a Bosch WP distributor type high pressure fuel pump. P44, this diesel can last 500,000 kilometers, but there are several peculiarities. Things you need to know to avoid costly repairs. The most sensitive part in this engine, which was either replaced or repaired is, this is a fuel injection pump control unit. In this engine block, a transistor that controls the supply valve burns out. If the transistor has burnt out, then the engine won't start. And here's the mechanical part of the fuel injection pump. Bosch VP44 is reliable and very repair friendly. Also, this engine can airlock the fuel system or pump engine oil into it through a weakened traverse seal that supply fuel to the injectors. Then there will be issues with operation and starting the engine. The timing chain has a good lifespan and can uh, travel around 186,000 for 11 miles. Sadly, these engines' lives often ended due to fragments of exhaust flaps getting under the wheels. Valus also broke the crankshaft. It is considered that in this, uh, on engines, the crankshaft is weak. The crankshaft drives the balance shafts, which increases the load on it. That's the kind of little engine we have in seventh place. Moving on, in sixth place, we've put a particularly problematic Renault engine. Uh, the thing is that in the Renault family, there are two similar engines with volumes of 2.2 and 2.5 liters. G9T and G9U. The smaller one went to large sedans like the Valsatis Laguna and S-Pace and older. It was using commercial vehicles. This engine has a common rail fuel system. What's the issue with this engine? It, it turned out overly complicated. Everything's not at all simple in it. From the swirl flaps of a complex generator to the sophisticated timing drive with a bunch of gears. Buy a timing belt. Sooner or later, everyone, this part will require self-adjusting timing gears may wear out and shred metal powder into the engine. Oi! The bushing of the combined gear equipped can wear out the tensioner pulley for the timing belt. Because of this, oil may start leaking. The oil pump is a weak point on this engine. It can get stuck. 
production valve the drive shaft can also wear out wear may also occur between the oil pump gears and its rings main and connecting rod bearings instantly react to the drop in oil pressure and then are welded to the crankshaft the engine seizes and requires a lot of expensive repairs such a problem can be prevented by installing a separate oil pressure gauge also you can reduce the overall oil change interval the 2.2 dci and 2.5 dc engines turned out to be very troublesome and are in great demand at dismantlers in fifth place we've placed the 2.0 cdti known from be associated with the opal brand this engine has italian roots and is based on the 1.9 cdti gtd the thing is this engine wasn't just fitted in opal cars but also in platform sharing sub models as well as on fiat jeep alfa romeo and suzuki the 2.0 cdti engine turned out to be more complicated than its predecessor the 1.9 cdti the reason is that the predecessor could issues with swirl flap jamming and breaking off this engine might fill up with anti-freeze into the intake through a channel leading into the intake manifold it can also mix oil with antifreeze due to a blown heat exchanger gasket but all this is minor compared to crankshaft bearing failures to weld to its next this was due to the fact that the thing about laying between the oil pump and the oil pickup tube air leakage began the oil that was sucked into the oil pump and fed to the friction pairs contained air bubbles affecting both pressure and oil quantity the oil level decreased and then the oil won't get in referring to the most loaded friction pairs meaning there was no protective oil film <laughs> there are also complaints about the operation of the reduction valve with the said which could cause the oil pump to operate at maximum efficiency and suck in oil to the air to the engine to the sensor quite a few problems but the most global issue is the metal plating of the crankshaft journals try to warn this orthodoxy by installing a pressure gauge which is used for measuring oil pressure also for cleaning the pressure relief valve also the replacement due to the timely installation of the oil pickup well a well-deserved fifth place let's move on approaching the top three of our anti-rating in fourth place we have placed the diesel from ford in the year 2000 and uh, ford introduced the puma engine family ranging from 2 to 24 liters uh, up to 2.4 liters decent diesels that were fitted on mondeo and the platform sharing jaguar x type as well as on ford transit in 2007 these engines were no longer used in passenger cars and were only installed in transits and commercial transits in 2014 these engines were no longer used in passenger cars and were only installed in transits and commercial transit as well as on the land rover defender if before 2007 this engine had nothing to be criticized for then after the year 2007 the timing chains became fragile skipped and broke this issue was acute on the 2.4 liter engine where the chain did not catch on the sprocket well in 2007 the lighter cylinder head started having very weak hydraulic lifters which failed already by the mileage of 200,000 kilometers this was followed by warping roller valve lifters mm. and then the corresponding camshaft lobe wore out this also led to the lobes clashing on the rockers which uh, in this case the rocker frame and hydraulic compensators may just be ripped out from the cylinder head this diesel became even more unfortunate by the year 2014 when they began installing a sliding vein oil pump on it the thing is the veins were made of some unclear plastic the gears were cracking and the oil pump stopped working already at the mileage of 30,000 kilometers naturally the engine was dying from oil starvation dealers changed engines under warranty installing uh, they installed improved pumps 
Car owners with this engine still prefer to install the old gear pumps. Fortunately, they can be installed without any major uh, in the rework in general. Let Dura Torque engines in commercial force have a questionable reputation. Third place in our anti rating is occupied by the popular French German V6 DSG. 2.7 HDI. This engine was created by PSA in collaboration with Ford and Assembly. It was fine tuned in England, hence this engine was installed no, only on French Peugeot Citroën as well. The same goes for the Jaguar wrap. Range Rover and Land Rover. The most widespread and common problem is with the 2.7 and 3.0 engines. This is welding inserts to the crankshaft journals and then the destruction of the crankshaft itself. This engine caused the most trouble over owners of heavy SUVs. So for Land Rover enthusiasts, this is the worst choice. These engines were supplied to French cars not many, but there were quite a few instances. Crankshaft failures. The same happens with this engine. The manufacturer recommended for it inappropriate motor oil, energy saving, which creates deficiencies. A sufficient protective film. Moreover, under some operating conditions, the oil reaches simply cosmic temperatures, which does not improve its protective properties. It is believed that brown oxygen must be poured into this engine. A more viscous oil, which by the way, was recommended for this engine in the early years of production. By the way, we'll soon take apart this 2.7 HDI but for now it is in third place for us second place in our anti rating goes to engines for larger Nissans with three liters the three liter Nissan's D30 engine which was installed in the Nissan Patrol Nissan Tirano pickup Navara other models initially had a direct injection fuel system from the Bosch V6 distributor type high pressure fuel pump VP44 version with coma. It appeared in 2007 at the very beginning of its life. The Nissan engine was disappointing with expensive breakdowns. His cylinder head was cracking, glow plugs were falling apart and the ventilation system was clogging up. There were crankcase gas leaks and the timing chains broke. For some time, engineers diligently worked on eliminating these shortcomings. By 2004, the problem with piston destruction was resolved, but for normal operation, this engine needs a road. That is, it's highly recommended to install a booster pump on vehicles with a ZD30 engine. An oil catch can, even a fan on the intercooler, as well as adding equipment to measure oil temperature and boost pressure. And even to replace the cylinder head gasket. Starting from the common rail engine version, here's the second place engine that forced many owners. Consider swapping it for a more reliable 4.2 liter one for patrols. Uh, so the worst diesel engine according to Auto Strong M. Welcome Evgeny to the top of our anti-rating. The Japanese diesel Isuzu 3.0 V6D Max. The Japanese company Isuzu independently creates diesel engines and sells them to its clients including some quite likely ones. Quite a few European firms will tell you about the V6 that Isuzu sold to Huawei, Opel, Renault and Saab. They in turn installed it on their flagships, that is Vectra C Signum Saab 9E5. Well, Satis and Espace, this diesel is known for overheating easily and with very sad consequences. People who chose the car with this engine, constantly monitor the antifreeze level, clean the radiators and watch for leaks. Antifreeze may leak and the motor does not go above 3000 revolutions per minute. <laughs> Due to overheating, the aluminum engine block warps under the central cylinder half beard. There's also an issue with the sealing between the block and the cylinder head gases. From the cylinders, it can enter the cooling system channels and antifreeze can enter the cylinders. The sleeves may drop. 
It drops lower in the block. The most problematic Isuzu engines were produced between 2001 to 2005. Then the engine block and cooling system were improved. Quite a few of these engines had to be replaced or repaired by changing sleeves, but even after repair, monitoring is required. <laughs> Keep an eye on the engine temperature. Well, we hope you enjoyed our coolest and first review. Anti-rating. Be sure to write in the comments which ratings you'd like to see more of. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Like this video, be sure to download our sticker pack in Telegram. Remember, Auto Strong M Company has always been, is and will be with you. Strong!